You're watching UNICEF Television. High in the mountains of Haiti, in the hamlet of Jaco, a group of villagers wait patiently outside a small clinic that provides the only health care for miles around. Marie Marte Aristille has come here with a six year old daughter, Lourdes. Like many waiting online, they've been here since dawn. I left the house at 3 in the morning and I arrived here at 6 a.m. We are really tired because we had to come here on foot. Until recently, it would have been even more difficult. Villagers were forced to travel eight hours to the capital, Port-au-Prince, by foot or by donkey to access basic services. Today, Lourdes receives a thorough examination at this health post being run by the fraternity Notre Dame mission and supported by UNICEF. The diagnosis is an ear infection and she is given free drugs. The clinic, which serves 2,500 families in this rural area, was established with UNICEF's help just after the January 12, 2010 earthquake. With UNICEF's help, we were able to rebuild the clinic and bring them the first assistance, basic first aid. We helped them with the school because it had been completely destroyed. So with UNICEF's help, we were able to rebuild it and even make it better by providing latrines to provide better hygiene and improve their lives. Like much of this mountainous island, Jaco is difficult to access, even though it's relatively close to Port-au-Prince. Because of bad roads, UNICEF had to bring in supplies by helicopter after the earthquake, providing a lifeline for people here with school supplies, hygiene kits, and life-saving medicines. UNICEF also supplied tents to serve as a semi-permanent school so that children would not be left behind, despite the community's isolation. Today, the school is providing a measure of stability to over 300 children from the surrounding area. Besides education, the children receive information on how to protect themselves and their families from cholera, as well as a free daily meal. Here we didn't have many schools, not even a health center. In the past we felt really forgotten, but right now we feel better. Accessing communities such as Jaco in Haiti's mountainous rural districts is a priority for UNICEF. A year on now we have to uh, think on the reconstruction and the reconstruction is going to be a long process uh, and we also have to think of the, uh, the most vulnerable population who have to happen to be you know, Haitians living in areas where they have no access to water, no access to education, no access to health facilities. Reaching those who are the hardest to reach, children in far off neglected rural areas, is not only a moral imperative but it's also a cost-effective and sensible strategy for Haiti's long-term development. This is Bob Cohen reporting for UNICEF Television. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for Children.